Hi there, my name is Stevie Kennedy Gold and I'm the collection manager of Amphibians and Reptiles and currently we're located in the Alcohol House at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. You might be wondering, what is the Alcohol House? Well, that's where we store specimens that are preserved in alcohol, all of our fluid specimens. And that's what I'm surrounded with right here. Scientists began collecting specimens hundreds of years ago, and we know that because of their great documentation and their field notes, as well as the fact that we still have those specimens. In the alcohol house, as I said, we contain specimens in alcohol, and predominantly we house amphibians and reptiles, which are my focuses. We have approximately a quarter of a million specimens contained within this building that are strictly amphibians and reptiles. However, we do house other specimens, such as birds, in this building too. You may be wondering, why do we store specimens in alcohol? Well, have you ever gotten a cut, an injury, something like that? Well, you usually want to clean it out so nothing bad happens. And you often will use some sort of alcohol or a wet wipe. By keeping specimens in alcohol, we're able to preserve them, and sometimes for hundreds and thousands even, or not sure yet, of years. It makes sure that no bacteria can grow on these specimens, and that scientists, researchers, even yourself can come in and look at these specimens and ask awesome questions like, what do they eat? Where are they from? What do they look like? Do they have parasites on them? Do they have parasites in them? So the alcohol makes sure that they're usable for a very, very long time. So specimens can be used in a multitude of ways, but one of them that I've had personal experience with actually using these animals or this species specifically is for instance, looking at what they've eaten. So this species, Anolis carolinensis is the green anole, and it's native to the southeastern United States, but this species, as well as many other anole species, are really great at getting around, and they love to hitchhike and get spread due to humans. Globalization and urbanization is making it so that these animals can live in places that they've never lived in before. So one thing that we can do with specimens is take the specimen, cut it open and look at what they've been eating. And we can see, are they expanding their diet in these new locations? Are they eating what the native species are eating and therefore they might be competing? Specimens can help us answer these questions and many, many more. If you're interested in seeing the collection in the alcohol house and all the fantastic specimens contained within, come visit the Carnegie Museum of Natural History and keep an eye out for the upcoming tours of the alcohol house.